Hi guys. Today I'm going to keep repeating an idea that I have, which in my perspective is a fact. Artificial intelligence is amazing. So with AI, we have autopilot cars, auto transcribers that grant more individuals the access of information. We have AI models that beat the world champion of chess. AI is amazing. With AI, the power of AI has drastically changed how we human beings interact with and work with other people. Governments, corporations, and other organizations have been using AI to get valuable information, actionable insight, and applications that could change our life. So many people would think AI is amazing. I know, I know. So we human beings and AI would live happily ever after. But sadly, this is not the end of the story. Governments have been using AI to make very important decisions. Governments have been reported that they're using facial recognition models, which is heavily AI-based, to predict whether a person is going to commit crime in the future. So it has also been reported that those predictions could heavily bias towards groups of certain ethnicities, gender, and age. So why, you may ask, those AI models are built by human scientists, engineers. Why those AI models would do harm to our human society and communities? To figure out why those models could work like that, we have to understand what AI is. Being portrayed by movies, animations, and comics, when you think about AI, you think of some human-shaped machine that could kill us. But all those are Hollywood nonsense and should not be the real deal. But it's quite hard to give a strict definition of what AI is because it takes many forms and serves many purposes. It takes me five years to understand what AI is and how to use them. Use them. Like that's pre very precious five years of my life. But hold on, guys. This talk is not going to last five years. I'm going to give you a gist of what AI is in the next five minutes. So. An AI model is basically um, a mathematical model with the help of data and the labels for data, or in other words, the definition of good decisions. To make it even more intuitive, training an AI model is like training a dog. So the data is like the order that we gave the dog, and the definition of good decisions is like um, the reaction that we expect from a dog. So to train a good puppy, given certain orders, we want the dog to react right as we expected. So in terms of training AI model, when given a set of data, we want to keep fixing and adjusting the mathematical model so that it would act as we expected. Or in other words, the mathematical model would have the output that matches the definition of good decisions. So here, uh, we have noticed that those models are heavily based uh, on the data that is generated by human from the past. We human beings have been generating more and more data since the dawn of the internet. So whenever we casually pick up our phones, casually chat with our friends, comments on an article or videos that inspires us, or casually post our own music, video, pictures, or memes, we are, whenever we are doing that, we are creating more data. And we human beings are in constant need of more information because the world is just changing too fast. We want to get connected. We want to be um, con interacting with other individuals on the internet. Whenever we log in or log off on uh, applications or website, we are creating even more data. But the question is, are we human beings are biased? So we human beings have free will that grants us the ability to, to think of certain things from a certain angle, given our background. So in the process of creating the data, we would also give our biases to the data that we have generated. So since those data that are generated by human beings could inherit the biases from human brains, unsurprisingly, those artificial intelligent models could also inherit the biases from our human brain. To find out how exactly those AI models could be biased, we have um, done experiment on a very popular uh, AI-based model called, called VirtuVac. 
a word to vec model basically map a word to a bunch of numbers, or in this context, word vectors, based on the contextual information of a word, so that computers could understand the contextual information of a word, because each words are represented by a bunch of numbers. So um, with a word to vec model, uh, computers could do this kind of calculation, king minus male equals queen. And we have also utilized methods from psychophysics, which is called two alternative force choice. So to give an example, we constantly ask the word to vec model, is this nurse a male or female? So um, the question is just a bunch of numbers generated by word to vec. So we were able to change the percentage of male in that question. So we increased the percentage of male from zero to 100 constantly so that and then we keep notes of the points where the word to fact model couldn't decide whether the nurse is a male or female so this is our result if you can look at the top points here for the hairdresser when we are able to increase the percentage of male to nearly 90 percent the word to fact model would start to believe that the hairdresser is actually a male which means that the word to fact model is Mm, for most of the time, it considers a hairdresser a female. So as we can see here, the word to vet model is quite sexist because it considers hairdressers, nurses, and teachers are more likely to be female, while it considers scientists, engineers, and technicians are more likely to be male. So what does it mean? So I, as I have mentioned before, each AI-based models are mathematical models that could consists of potentially thousands, if not hundreds, of coefficients. It's even challenging for an expert in AI to understand why those AI models work and why they are biased. So with what we have implemented, uh, we have a way to um, detect the biases from the black box, outside the black box. So with what we have discovered, hopefully policymakers Governors could figure out a better policy and law to, um, about how we human beings and AI could work better together. So we human beings could work with AI that is more fair, more accountable, and more transparent. So AI could become a true solution rather than a problem. Thank you. <laughs>